Hello there, Tony Harmer here from the Adobe UK Solutions Consulting Team. And in this movie, what I want to do is draw something, but I only want to use one tool. Just the one. Not even the rectangle tool to draw some sort of funky robot, just in case you think that this is a trick and I'm going to draw something like a funky robot like this. You can see where I'm going with that, so I'll just undo that. No, I want to draw a wrench and maybe a couple of other things, who knows with just one tool and it's not the pen tool either what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the shaper tool inside of Illustrator CC 2015 and I'm going to be using my Wacom tablet uh, for this particular one but I have done uh, these kind of operations on my trackpad when I've had to and this works really really well on touch enabled devices as well so I'm going to draw roughly an ellipse and you can see then I've got an ellipse and I can click on it with exactly the same tool to change various things about it. So, for example, if I wanted to do pie slices, I can do that if I just back that up. If I wanted to change the dimensions or proportions, then I can do that as well. Notice that when I get the equal proportions across the width and height, it actually shows me that, which makes it easier for me to work with. Now I'm going to draw a rectangle. So if I just draw roughly a rectangle shape there like so and click on that, I'm just going to move that away and then back on. You can see the smart guides there showing me when that is aligned. So I'm going to make this a little bit longer and I'm going to get the widgets just here just to change that corner radius like so. Remember, still with exactly the same tool here. And I'm going to draw another rectangle at the top here like this and I'm going to click on that I want to change some things like the proportions here so just make sure that's lined up which it is I'm going to change the width I'm holding down the alt key so that comes in from the sides like so then I'm going to drag in the corner widgets there and then I'm going to alt click on them so if I alt tap on this one you can see oops how it changes from chamfered and inverse rounded and rounded just there. Now I'm happy with that. I'm going to tap away. I still haven't changed tools, by the way. Uh, so I am going to make a little bit of a modeling adjustment just there. Now that I've got that the way I want it to be, I'm just going to rub out those intersections. You can see now I've drawn a wrench shape in just a few seconds with only one tool. You can do bunches of different things here. So, for example, if I wanted to draw a polygon, Right, I could just draw roughly a polygon like so and it will do that and I can change the roundness of the polygon like so just using that widget. I can even change the number of sides using the widget on the right hand side of the frame just there and notice it's being very very helpful and telling me uh, how many sides I've got on there up to 10 is as far as you can go with that but that's kind of useful in its own way. I'm just going to rub out that because I didn't actually want it and I'll rub this one out because I didn't want that either and maybe I want to build sort of a diamond shape just here like this and draw a line across that and then rub out the bottom part rub out the extra bits of line just there like so maybe do that a bit higher up even and just rub out the sections there again like so if I need to change anything from these you'll notice that as I move the mouse around they're still completely live so if I wanted to change, for example, the shape that I drew just here, maybe make it longer or slightly wider, then I can do all of that. And I still haven't changed tools yet, I uh, hasten to point out. Right, so it's still exactly the same tool. And if I wanted to draw maybe a couple of things on here, so I'll draw another couple of uh, squares just there and maybe get this one and alt drag a copy across like so. What I could then do is I could rub out the bits here like so, move this across and join up those things. Or oh, didn't join that one just at the top there. So I want to draw a snow-capped mountain here. I can now click on this shape, double tap on that one. So I've now accessed the shape underneath and changed the color of that like so. Okay, so now I want to change these shapes just here. So I'm just gonna click double tap on these ones. And if I just come across and do this one as well, might help if I zoom in just a little bit, temporarily move to another tool, but doesn't count, I didn't use the toolbox. So there you go, and double tap on this one, and double tap on this one, and now I'll change the fill color of those. And you can see how I've drawn a snow-capped mountain 
without changing tools and a wrench also without changing tools just with the shaper tool in illustrator cc 2015 thanks for watching